Okay, this is an introduction to a series of videos that I'm going to do looking at how I'm going to build a laptop Powerwall. And by that I mean I'm going to take a whole bunch of laptop batteries that have come out of uh, old laptops that have been sent off to a recycler and then I've picked them up from the recycler and opened them up, got a whole bunch of cells, I'm going to put a whole bunch of cells together, in this case 336 of these individual cells, uh, to make up a 2 kilowatt um, battery pack power wall, a little bit like the Tesla power wall. Um, I think the Tesla power wall is um, quite a bit bigger than that, but um, this is stage one for me. Um, so I'm going to grab these laptops, pull them open, that's what they look inside, like inside. Um, these ones have six cells and they come in pairs. Now, other people who have done this, this um, process have pulled the batteries into single cells, tidied all those up, measured the amp hours and all that sort of stuff. I'm leaving them in their pairs uh, because that halves the amount of time that I have to, number of batteries I have to charge and discharge. And um, but one of the nice things about these that um, other people show off is they're lovely, you can get these lovely brackets um, which are very nice and tidy. But, so what I'm doing is I am 3D printing my own brackets that um, fit reasonably nicely and they um, all go together. So the plan is going to be a whole bunch of these and I'll have a 2 kilowatt pack which will then be connected up to my solar power system and be used to run uh, my inverter and a few other things um, and once I've got one pack working nicely I can then build another one another 2 kilowatt pack and, um, and go from there at the moment this pack that I'm going to build is going to be 48 cells wired in parallel and then 7 of those wired in series. So it's going to be um, a roughly 24 volt pack with 2 kilowatt hours of capacity. Um, now I've done a little bit of work before this and I have built a few test things because I was a bit worried about building something this large straight off. So what I've done is I've got an electric lawnmower which has these horrendously heavy um, lead acid gel batteries inside them and I pulled that apart and built up a battery pack which consists of 12 cells in series in parallel and 7 of those in series which fits perfectly in the box and that gives me 24 volts and half a kilowatt hour um, which works fantastically well. It's, it weighs half as much as the old battery and it has twice the capacity. So this is a half kilowatt hour pack. Um, you may notice I don't have a BMS. That's because um, I've got the balancing leads but I haven't found a, a BMS that will um, is uh, grunty enough. Um, the lawnmower that I've got peaks at 94 amps, um, which is a uh, crazy amount of power. Uh, it does mean that each of these cells, when it's running at 94 amps, is delivering 7.8 amps, which is a hell of a lot for a, an old, an old um, used battery. Um, but thus far it's been working okay. I do um, keep pretty close attention to the 
voltage levels um, immediately after using the lawnmower. Um, if anything's going to um, overheat, it, it'll be this thing here because it gets driven really hard. The other thing that I have built is this thing here, which is not uh, not a Dell computer. It is a one kilowatt hour pack that I use to drive my son's go-kart, electric go-kart. This does have a, a BMS in here. It's got a breaker switch. I've got um, some temperature sensing going on in the middle of the pack and it's it's always been fine. Um, the go-kart tops out at um, 39 amps, which mean um, these cells, so I've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 18, 12, uh, 24 cells in parallel, and then those, uh, there are 7 of those wired in series. So that is a 1 kilowatt hour pack, um, and in the situation where I'm using it, it's uh, not being strained at all. So I've got that using, um, using that for the go-kart, and I've also started playing with a cheap Chinese charge controller which means that this is being charged by my solar panels and I'm using this, testing this with my solar setup um, and driving my inverter and other things but it's not um, a big enough pack to really drive all the things that I want to, to run so that's why I'm, I'm uh, doing the 2 kilowatt pack and then I'll the, the long-term plan is to make another 2 kilowatt pack and um, string them all together. The 2 kilowatt hour pack is basically doubling of that and it'll have a BMS. I'll actually use the same BMS and probably the same um, breaker switch and we will see how that goes. So the plan, next plan is to... Um, start producing some videos showing you what I have done and I'm doing step by step to give you a sense of um, what you might need to do if you want to follow my lead or give me some advice and um, we'll take it from there. See you next time.